Hello to you. I'm Jesse R. Johnson. I'll be talking to you about institutions, society, the 12 different types of institutions of humanity. There are two broad methods humans use to do all things. One, mechanical, excuse me, one, mechanical, such as the use of hammers, trucks, computers, telephone, telescopes, saws, cars, rockets, TVs, typewriters, houses, clocks, etc. And number two, social, such as using major universals, such as languages, hierarchies, cultures, institutions. Humans gather in groups like most species, from small to very large groups, such as tribes, villages, towns, states, provinces, nations, regions, union of nations, union of regions, etc. And one of the basic forms of human social systems is the use of the structures of hierarchy. There are two broad forms of hierarchies. A, natural hierarchy. B, artificial hierarchy. Now, approximately 80% are, as far as I can tell, artificial hierarchies of the human cultures, which is bad news for our kind. Other species do not do this and get along exceptionally well compared to humans in natural hierarchies. In sociology books, there are 25 to 26 major divisions to human society. In cultural anthropology books of university level, there are about 25 shown for culture. Now, from investigations of the human race over decades of time, there are 40 divisions to society and 40 divisions to culture. This spans the totality of all humanity, leaving out nothing. You will not find this much material in any sociology or cultural anthropology books. Now, the two universals, sociology and culturology, are two out of three universal parts of which cover the totality of all that humans are about. Out of this, institutions will be spoken about in general only here. First off, there are 12 major institutions wherein humans do everything and control or try to control all of their affairs. Sociology books have only six of these institutions listed. Family, economics, education, politics, religion, and medical. The definition of institution is, number one, an institution is a social method. Number two, a social foundation. Number three, a means for social and cultural maintained organization. Number four, the practice laws, customs, traditions, norms, regulations in a specific area of a total society. Number six, to keep a society in order by established means. Number seven, the relations, facility, and utility of a people. Number eight, a specific purpose of function of a total culture. Number nine, the maintenance of common interest of different, differing areas of a society. Number 10, the studying and solving of social problems and coalitions of communities. The definition of culture is, number one, the social products, physical and non-physical, such as art, machines, rules, etc., of one or more persons of a society. An institution is a facet of culture, of which culture is a universal facet of any and all societies. Now, I'm going to move the camera. Hold on, please. Now, let's continue. The 12 institutions, and generally what they include are, as you can see, illustration A. The first one is political, such as government bodies, military, seven, several dozen types of political systems of different nations, states, etc. Number two, as an institution, is religion, morality, exoteric systems, minor amounts of esoteric, 20 or so living major religions, hundreds of dead religions from the past. Number three, economic institution, made of 11 major sectors, made of industries, made of largest corporations to smallest and largest non-corporations to smallest. List. Number four, law institution. Systems of each nation and each institution have their written and unwritten rules and laws conglomerating into a single institution as a whole. Number five, family. 
the primary base institution that supports all other institutions. Without it, there is no human race. Composition, sex, biological, lineage, marriage, etc. The sixth institution is education, such as museums, schools, all levels, libraries, etc. We will go to number seven. Hold on. Now, let's continue. The seventh institution is medical, such as, such as alternative health methods, modern health methods, drugs and surgery, that is. Number eight, mass media, distilling information, propaganda, spin influence, news, etc., to the masses. Forms of TVs, radio, newspapers, magazines, books, etc. Number nine, the science institution, distilling the, the, the distilling of 100% factual information on everything about everything. Number 10, art, creativity in all areas, entertainment, performing, theater, movies, every, and so on, sewing, visual, auditory, taste, cooking, smell, perfumes, all things in creativity. Number 11, spiritual, non-religion, esoteric, the second most necessary institution. Number 12, the 12th institution is the poverty institution. This is the totality of social means and social stigmas that subdue a people or population physically, mentally, socially, institutionally, and spiritually. Hold on, please. Now, let's continue. If you will look at this, illustration B, all human institutions are hierarchically structured, meaning there are less and less persons as one goes toward the most powerful and most expansive levels upward, as you go upward to the tip top. These are the levels here, one at the bottom all the way up to 12th level. This here is the masses, right here, is this red, Line is the masses, and at the tip top are the elites of each institution. Now, for convenience sake, there are 12 levels to each institution. The first level, level number one, at the bottom here, at the bottom there, of each institution is where the most people are with the least amount of abilities, capacities, say so, things needed to make a difference and so on for that specific institution and no other. That same person or persons may have more strength in another institution. As one moves towards the upper levels of each institution, there are fewer, as you go upward, toward the 12th level, there are fewer and fewer persons that inhabit that level of expansion until one gets to the 12th level where the fewest persons are with the most say-so, the most expansive abilities than everyone else. And since human beings uh, use countries, the nation states, a concept, an idea, which is part of the political institution, to identify themselves with, there are about 190 to 200 official countries and several unofficialized countries, and each country has, has all 12 institutions as its makeup. Each country has different elements making up their cultures. At the tip top, or level 12, are what's called the elites. At the tip top itself are the elites of each institution. These are the masses of the, these are the masses of levels one through eleven. One through eleven are the masses. Let us go to D. Hold on, please. Pardon me. Let's go to C. Now, this is illustration C. The 12th level, this is about the 12th level of each institution from each country unto itself and from many different countries together mixes and produces the exclusive society clubs or ESS or 
which all of them powerful but some ESCs are public and some are highly secretive, wherein only those who are elite enough can be a part or member of it. If you look all of the institutions are written at the bottom, and these each one of these yellow pyramids with twelve levels each, twelve levels each, starting from one number one at the bottom, twelve at the top, where the elites are. Um, uh, from the elites, the elites come; they conglomerate into exclusive social clubs. These can be public or secret. These are the elites of each institution, and these pink lines show how these elites go into clubs and secret societies as well as public societies and so forth. Now we will go to illustration D. The comparative importance of each institution is this. The family is the most important institution of all institutions. It may not be the most powerful but it is the most important. This includes sex, biological, and number one up there. Without sex, there is no species, no human race. Sex requires two parental polarities, male and female, to exist, such as east, west, up, down, lock, key, uh, in, out, negative, positive, north pole, south pole, etc. The second most important is the spiritual institution, you do not have a spirit. You are a spirit. You are a spirit. And you are spirit. Now, humans have their institutions backwards in importance. Therefore, they live as, as live in the real form of hell. And that is off the scale. As you can see, the third most important is our health, medical. The fourth is science. science. The word science means to know and to know about. Therefore, science cannot be destroyed because all living things know something. That includes the human race. Number five is law. You must have laws in order to keep society organized. Number six is economics. You must have have the need, necessary things to survive. Number seven, education. The, oh, oh, hold on. Now, to continue, after education, to learn all of the, the very language itself that you speak and so forth and other things, the eighth most important is art, creativity. The ninth is mass media, which gives information about all the things needed for our society. Number 10 is religion. When a people starts to crack up and go sappy, religion is needed to keep them keep them together in morality and so forth. Number 11 is political. The, the, uh, the, 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 one, the number 11 is the political, that time where politics generally, generally only, should be in the level of that number 11 in importance. This is where, where the military and so forth to protect itself and so forth. Number 12 is poverty. Poverty is an institution that is composed from all the other 11 institutions that suppresses and subdues a, a people. I want to thank everyone for listening and watching and have a good day.